another round of breaking update coming in. What we are getting to know that Pakistan's uh, Abdul Rahman Makki, who has now been uh, listed as a global terrorist by the UNSC, and the United Nations Security Council on Monday listed Makki as a Pakistan-based terrorist. And uh, he is the brother-in-law of lashkar e Toiba chief uh, Hafiz Saeed, who is also a designated global terrorist under, under its ISIS, Daesh and Al-Qaeda sanctions committee. Straight away going across to Shrinjoy now. Shrinjoy now, this was something that was already blocked by China. But now the UN has designated uh, Makki as a globally recognized terrorist. In her case, Makki is a terrorist. As you rightly said, he planned 26-11. He's Hafiz Saeed's brother-in-law. He was part of the political committee. He was part of the foreign committee of the lashkar e -Toiba. He has blood on his hands. And there's every reason for action against him. Now the sanctions will ensure that his movements are checked, his finances are checked, his ability to buy weapons are checked. But who knows, in Pakistan, there is always a way around things. So this puts into clear focus the fact mm. that Pakistan is currently a country that the world knows about. The world knows that it's the center of terrorism. Right, but Shrinjoy, if you look upon how had been India's response back then when China had stopped that, uh, you know, this man be designated as a global terrorist. What is being said that India had uh, slammed China after it blocked the proposal to list terrorist Makki under the sanctions committee. Mr. Arasan Singh is also with us here on the broadcast. Sir, Makki now been identified as a global terrorist after several attempts by China to block it. Now he has been de designated as a global terrorist, sir. What does it mean? asking me yes sir uh, no uh, well it's a, it's a kind of you know uh, diplomatic uh, victory uh, for us and uh, on the international fora it does uh, eases uh, uh, you know our uh, pursuit for you know uh, uh, pursuit for justice uh, but remember this is uh, uh, you know uh, we cannot be really dependent on what the UN has to say as far as terrorism, you know, global ter uh, terrorism is concerned. Because global terrorism is majorly focused in our, in our subcontinent. Mm. So therefore, we have got to have our own, um, uh, own assessment, own approach to dealing, uh, dealing with the problem. We can't be beholden uh, to, the, you know, to the West for their definition and their mood and their you know, temper. As, as far as terrorism is concerned, because they may be facing terrorism, but we are facing terrorism-related proxy war, which is going on every day. You just pick up the newspapers, how many of these you know, plots are being uh, foiled by the Delhi Police Special Branch. Yes. Just, uh, just as, uh, you know, the day before yesterday, you saw how a man was chopped into eight pieces and his video was sent to you know uh, uh, In Delhi. Across, across Pakistan hmm. to another lashkar e toiba operative called hmm. Sohail. Just it was just done to convince him that uh, uh, he is capable of carrying out terrorist attacks. So this is the level that uh, jihadi terrorism has acquired as far as India India is concerned. And. Uh, well, we have to crack down. We have to crack down very heavily and in some very unusual ways. Yes, if well, we want, efforts if we... are being taken in the country as well, Mr. Singh. Uh, also, to uh, you know, designate somebody as a global terrorist, it helps in India's efforts. And this time around, in Maki's case, uh, the UN Council has designated him a global terrorist. But we've seen as well in the recent past, in uh, in fact, uh, over the last few years as well, China blocking India's attempts when it comes to the other terrorists as well. Most recently, Shahid Mahmood as well. China had blocked India's efforts time and again. So the fact that now Maki has been designated as a global terrorist, how significant is it? And does does it really pave the way for the UNSC to also designate these other terrorists that India has been pushing for as a global terrorist? No, definitely, as, as I prefaced my statement by saying that uh, uh, it is indeed a, a, you know, a, a major diplomatic victory for us that you know after relentless uh, efforts we have been able to uh, um, get him declared as a, a global terrorist and it does faci faci facilitate 
but but again i said that in this proxy war which is confined to this confined to india and confined to this sub uh, subcontinent i remember that uh, the you know the the uh, it's a, it's a it's a part of proxy war hmm. it is a part of proxy war and in this proxy war there are elements uh, sorry not only pakistan as a state supports you know the, the china supports pakistan sponsored state terrorism right. there are people within our country who support china's stance on you know these uh, 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 these jihadis uh, uh, you know of uh, various shades of belonging to lashkar e toiba and jaish e mohammed that uh, obviously continues to be raised time and again uh... Thank you very much, Mr. Singh, for your point of view. As we also raise uh, more voices and uh, experts also joining in, Colonel B. N. Thapar is also with us, sir. Good morning to you, Abdul Rahman Makki. Now being designated global terrorist by the United Nations, sir. What does it mean for India? It is too late. It is very symbolic gesture on the part of whoever has declared them, uh, declared him as a on the terrorist list. I think it is the least. Uh, it is insignificant uh, step this should have been done much uh, earlier we have been having this menace of the uh, going on for decades there are 59 uh, uh, tanzims and uh, lakshars in pakistan who are operating just making a insignificant kind makki into a uh, of bringing him on the terror list what what is going to be the result he will continue to Uh, have the lifestyle that he is having now in pakistan he is not going to us he is not going to go anywhere he has to be arrested and only then can we uh, think that pakistan has taken some uh, step in that direction not only he his brother yes what what is he been uh, spared for what is the goodness that he is doing that he has been spared mm. for and similarly there are so many other you know how many the list is uh, uh, was 59 when i last counted and uh, terror is going on unabated yes. the only option that would be left would be that we go and do something against these uh, terror heads because they are not able to do okay all or, right Uh, yeah. in fact uh, you know like you mentioned it has been very delayed but better late than never now he's finally been uh, designated a global terrorist paving the way for the others as well in the list to be designated global terrorists but uh, you're right action needs to be taken they need to be arrested and prosecuted as well karl thapar thank you for joining us slipping into a short break.